Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1985 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Oakland Athletics at the Oakland Coliseum. On the mound for the Tigers today is Dan Petrie, whose record is 12-5 with a 3.64 ERA. And pitching for the A's is Dennis Martinez, whose record is 12-16 with a 4.96 ERA. Okay, uh, we won yesterday's ball game uh, by the skin of our teeth. Uh, we had a 7-4 lead going into the ninth inning, and Dave Smith, our closer, gave up a two-run home run to make it interesting, uh, but we hung on to win the ball game, and I guess that's all that really matters. It does sort of lead to some questions about how I'm going to handle my closer's role next year when I'm playing this offline. Um, do I go to uh, one of our other options, like Todd Fisher, who's got a higher rating? Or do I try to make Dave Smith last one more year? Um, we're paying him for one more season. So do we give him one more chance to be our closer next year? I guess in some regards, it's going to be like, how good is our team going to be anyway, you know, before I make that decision? Because Todd Fisher, as a setup man, is pretty damn good. And we have a lot of holes to fill, uh, you know, for the 1986 season. So I'm not, I'm not really sure I'm going to handle that yet. Um, as I mentioned, we're not going to be playing uh, the Detroit Tigers season uh, anymore on YouTube. And so if you're someone who's interested in how, uh, you know, like what will happen with that team next year, uh, in the description below is our Facebook page for Brainiac Baseball. And you can click on that link. It'll take you to the Facebook page and just uh, like our page. And you'll see the updates next year. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that. How I'm, Am I just going to give box scores or, you know, leaders or some kind of information? But for those who are interested in seeing how this Tigers series continues, um, there will be updates on the Facebook page. Okay, before we get today's game started, just one more reminder that uh, we do have a giveaway going on. Game 162, during the seventh inning stretch, we're going to give away four autograph cards. Uh, we've talked about it quite a bit, but if you're just tuning in, uh, be a subscriber. And uh, let me know in the comments that you want to get in on the giveaway. And uh, we, you'll have a chance to win one of four autographs. The fourth place prize is a Randy Jones 1976 Tops card. It's autographed by Randy Jones, former Cy Young Award winner. The third place prize is a 2012 Panini Golden Age Freddie Lynn autograph card. Of course, Fred Lynn won the American League MVP and the American League Rookie of the Year in 1975. The second place prize is a 2005 Donruss Greats Earl Weaver autograph card. And the big first place prize to close out this entire series is the 2010 Topps 206 Al K-Line autograph. Mr. Tiger himself uh, will be the big grand prize. So we have six contestants so far. You know who you are. I'm sorry, we have seven contestants so far. And you should know who you are. Um, and so uh, anybody else that wants to get in on it, you got plenty of time. All the way until game 161. Okay? If you have any questions about it, you can just let me know in the comments. It's free to join. You just got to be a subscriber. Okay, we've got Dan Petrie on the mound today. Uh, having a solid year, although he's been a little shaky here in the second half. Here's our bullpen. Everybody is rested and ready to go. And then our lineup versus Dennis Martinez, or Denny Martinez, or El Presidente. Um, we're mixing it up a little bit as far as the order goes. I'm going to go ahead and just drop Willie Wilson all the way to the bottom. Um, his rating has dropped significantly. I think the more at-bats he accumulates in that leadoff role, you know, maybe getting one extra at-bat than some of our other players in our lineup from you know, the bottom half down. Um, you know, I think it's starting to hurt him 
I don't mind that his batting average has dropped, but his rating is not good, and he's really not being as productive. To have only 64 runs scored for Willie Wilson, primarily out of the leadoff role, does seem to be kind of bad. So uh, Barry Larkin will get the leadoff role today. Willie Wilson will bat ninth. Everybody gets shuffled around otherwise. And let's do that official lineup for the Tigers batting leadoff. At shortstop is Barry Larkin batting second. At second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting third and catching is Damon Berryhill. Batting cleanup and DHing is Terry Kennedy. Batting fifth at third base is Mike Pagliarulo. Batting sixth at left field is Kevin Bass. Batting seventh at right field is Jim Eisenreich. Batting eighth at first base is Rusty Tillman. And batting ninth in center field is Willie Wilson. Okay, Dennis Martinez, age 31, second season with the Oakland A's. Looks like he's on the decline. I mean, he pitched well into his late 30s. He might have actually been 40 by the time he officially retired, but uh, this game is starting to forcibly decline him. He is making his 13th start, and he's 12-16. and 16. So what is that, 4-5? That's nine years in a row of 12 or more wins. That's kind of impressive. So 12-16 and 16 with a 4.96 ERA, 130 strikeouts, and 223 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 266 against him. Three complete games, two shutouts. Uh, not much of a fastball. It tops out at 86 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 47.3%. The hard curve is his best pitch. Rated in 85, and he's got four other pitches. Why bother? They both all suck, really. Overall rated in 82, the 31-year-old righty making big free agent money, almost $2 million a year. And uh, he's on the payroll through 1988. Look at his log. Well, he's lost four out of the last five decisions. Pitched relatively well against Cleveland in his last start. He went seven days to be up four runs, nine hits, two walks, and seven strikeouts. So, uh, he's not pitching poorly, per se. Take a look here at the defense. Oh, we're mixing it up a lot today with the offense. So, we got fields and left, and... Ellis Burks in center field, not great defensively yet. Mike Davis in right is below league average. And then we got Cal Ripken Jr. finally getting to play. He's at shortstop. And Carlton Fisk behind the plate with a 57 rating. He was with Detroit in our very first year. And even then we knew he wasn't quite right. We traded him to Oaktown, and that's where he's been the whole time. A 56 arm. Oh man, we are now. I wish Willie Wilson was in the leadoff role. We are going to run rampant on this team. We got nothing to do the rest of the year but pad our stats. So let's see if we can get like 15 stolen bases today. And watch Dennis Martinez will probably pitch one of the most perfect games that he had in real life. Barry Larkin leading it off, and it's the Iron Man with a ground. Uh, sorry, with a uh, throw it first to get Larkin. One out. Next man up is Sweet Lou. Oh, that was an infield single. Oh, I should have been running. Okay, well, we're definitely going with Lou. 80% chance. Lou, not really a speedy guy, never known for his speed. He steals second base. Only his fourth stolen base of the year. Even in 1979, as a 22-year-old, uh, he only had 20 stolen bases and was caught 10 times. In scoring position now for Burial. There's a hot shot down the left field line. Whitaker around third. He scores, and Burial has an RBI double. Well, Burial won't have to steal. That is his... 22nd overall double, 13 as a Tiger. Now, Terry Kennedy at the plate with one out. Terry Kennedy, if you take a look here at his log, 
Look at the RBI streak he's going on here. He's got 11 RBI in the last 10 games. And that puts him just six away from 100 with nine games to go. And an opportunity right here to close in on that century mark. TK. Oh, he's going to do better than that. A two-run shot going up Otako. Great job by Kennedy this year. 23rd home run on the season. He's going to need four RBI. And he'll have 100. That's amazing. 3 nothing Detroit. And Pagliarulo singles to right. We're not going to go for two. What is Pags' speed? It's not great. He does have a stolen base. How many outs are there? <coughs> Pardon me, just one. He's going. 79% chance. When's it ever going to be better for him? And he does steal second base. Second stolen base of the year for Pags. Let's see if Big Hit Bass can come through. A 2-2 two -two count. Yeah, he strikes out. It's out number two. Here's Jimmy Eyes, a full count. And he pulls it into right field. That'll make it 4 to nothing. Eisenreich. 80% chance Eisenreich's going. First pitch. Inside pitch. And he steals second base. That's his fourth total stolen base of the year. But first as a Tiger, he's 4 for 4. Maybe we underestimated him. We maybe he did make him steal third. <laughs> Wait, what is it to steal third? 80% chance to steal third. That's crazy. Okay, well, let's see if Rusty Tillman can come through. Ah, uh, he pops it up. Down the first baseline. And it is caught for out number three. So the Tigers put four on the board in the first inning thanks to a two-run home run by Kennedy. We haven't even introduced the A's lineup. Let's do that. Batting leadoff in left field is Bruce Fields. Batting second in center field is Ellis Burks. Batting third at second base is Shooty Babbitt. Batting cleanup and DHing is Kevin Mitchell. Batting fifth in right field is Mike Davis. Batting sixth at first base is Dan Rohrmeyer. Batting seventh at third base is Ken Obergfell. Batting eighth at shortstop, Cal Ripken. And batting ninth at catcher is Carlton Fisk. Okay, Peaches is on the mound, making his 27th start. He's 12 and 5 with a 364 ERA. He's reached the century mark in strikeouts. Um, in 168 innings pitch, the opponents are batting 237 against him. He's got a complete game. Fastball topping out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 45.6%. Fastball still up there, rated a 90. Slider rated an 82. Overall rated an 88. I noticed that his health is below league average. You can't afford to really lose anybody at this point of the season. Um, he is 26 years old only and under contract through next year. Take a look at that log. He hasn't won in so long. He had that big winning streak. And then he gave up 14 runs <laughs> against Boston. Hey, that's a little bit on me. He did get a no decision last time he faced Oakland. Uh, going seven innings. <clears throat> pardon me. Seven innings, giving up two runs on three hits and three walks. Okay, we'll take a look at our defense. It's solid everywhere, in theory, uh, behind home plate. We've got Barry Hill once again. And Bruce Fields leading it off. Uh, against Dan Petrie. Fields batting 154 since his call up. And a leadoff single into center field. Fields on first. Ellis Burks, September call up, batting two for eight. Anyway. All right. There's just no way they're going to let us enjoy a baseball game. Shoot, he got it. Oh, he grounds into a double play, a very rare double play. Fields advances to third. 
And Kevin Mitchell's at the plate. He still needs one more home run this year to get to 30. And Petrie walks him. So he's walked two batters here in the first. And that means this will be a three-run home run by Mike Davis. Am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong. Still just pushing buttons then. We don't care anymore. Awesome. And Rohrmeyer pops up. Yep. Top of second. And Wilson gets hit. 85% chance. He's stealing third. 85% chance. Curveball. Yes! Give Willie two stolen bases. He's got 27. We'll go on contact. I shouldn't be mad they scored two runs. We are totally and unfairly running on Carlton Fisk, a catcher who was, you know, a great offensive catcher, but he was just known for his glove as well. We'll take the sack fly, give Larkin in a ribby. One down. Whitaker hitting a ground ball to Rohrmeyer for out number two. And Barry Hill, who doubled in the first, lines it to the left. He's out number three. We get one of the run back. It's 5-2. to two. Ken Oberkfell leading it off. There we go, P3. Striking out Oberkfell. Cal Ripken, look at this career. This is one reason why Baseball Mogul really sucks. I have no problem if the game wants to give Dan Rohrmeyer uh, a chance to be an everyday player. But you can't neglect the best players in the game ever. Makes no sense. As Ripken grounds it to Pags and he boots it. Okay, how many will they get is the question. They're going to get a bunch. It's going to be all unearned. None of these will actually affect his ERA. Fields grounds it to second. They get the force at third as the run scores. That's dumb as shit. Burks grounds into for, uh, what? Oh yeah. I forgot about that force. That's the second out. So the A's get the run right back. Here's TK. Ground ball to short. One down here in the top of the third. Pags flying out. And Kevin Bass. Yeah, we might not. I bet you we don't get another hit until they take out Dennis Martinez. Petrie gets Babbitt to ground out to second. Kevin Mitchell. Base hit. Two run home run to tie it up right here. Nope, the third walk by Petrie. Should we just take him out? Is this season over? It's over, right? Uh, drive. That'll get a couple more in. Game is tied at five. Nothing we can do about it. Baseball mogul sucks so hard. We will not get another hit. Oh, Wilson over the head of the first baseman. We don't need to go for a double. We just keep stealing. 85%. Still third base. Inside. Oh, there's four stolen bases for Wilson. He's going to get to 30 one way or another. 2-0 count to Larkin. He pops it. I mean, this game is so over right now. Fisk already has a double, despite being the worst player in the game. No 
Okay, a chance at a 1-2-3 inning. What are the odds? Good! That's exactly what Petri needed. I mean, the game is already tied, so it's a little too, too little too late. Whitaker strikes out. Martinez hasn't walked anyone. Tigers have not had a hit since the second inning. Oh no, Wilson had the hit. I'm sorry. That's right. Strand a runner. Petrie trying to get through five. It's five in a row for Petrie. Oh, I jinxed it. How many will they score? Oh, the balk? Well, here's the go-ahead run right here. Tap her back to Petrie. And Dan Rohrmeyer. Fly ball to center. Eric? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can give uh, Petrie a chance at a win. Kevin Bass gets a hit. Big hit, Bass likes to run. He likes to swim upstream. That's oh, a salmon. And we get the lead. That's dumb. Eisenreich wants to steal second base. Oh, give him another one! <laughs> Wait, how many do we have? Four, five, six, seven. We have eight stolen bases today? Oh, come on! I have hit to the other side! Why does this have to suck so hard? There we go. Yeah, Wilson goes for a double. He does get a double. We'll have him steal third. I mean, if they're going to give it to us, we got to take it so they can stop us. Five stolen bases for Wilson today. He does manage to get to 30 after having 70 last year. And we didn't even run for four months. He's got to go on contact. Oh, no. Back to the pitcher. Wilson scores. Give Larkin another RBI. He had that sack fly, I believe. And Whitaker will be on about the second. So we get three runs. It's the bottom third of the lineup. We're going to let Petrie pitch one more here. Or at least start the inning. God dang it. This is going to be a three-run home run. Carlton Fisk. Popping it up. Bruce Fields, 1-2 count. And he strikes him out. That'll do it for Petrie. As Dennis Martinez exits the game as well. Chris Carpenter will come in. We just saw him. He pitched really well, right? Hey, two innings. Did not give up a hit. What's his fastball like? It's a 90. It might be a little more difficult to run on him. He's already tired. Here's Barry Hill. Okay, he's hit to right. Barry Hill's going to go. Oh, it's only a 72% chance. Oh, how many stolen base? He's got two. All right, well, you know what? You know what? We're going to do it because if Barry Hill does steal second, that'll get Kennedy uh, a chance to drive in a run. It's going to be going. This is going to be a little tougher. Oh, he does steal second base. We will not be denied on the base path. Come on, Kennedy. Let's get you one more RBI closer. Oh, he tried to go through the left side of the infield. Could not get it done. Mikey Pags. A blooper into center. Get down.
two outs, and big hit Bass strikes out. Wow. Well, we can run the base pass, but it doesn't mean we're going to drive him in. All right, Petrie, 105 pitches. Not a great performance by any standard. We're going to go with Jeff Montgomery. Uh, he's thrown 59 innings this year. And they've been pretty effective. If you ever wondered what the defensive ERA is, what it means, I believe that this is what the ERA would be if the def defense um, hadn't committed the errors for the unearned runs. So anything under four is still pretty good. Um, so it, it, that often represents like how good or bad your defense is, right? All right. Um, Ellis Burks leading it off. Yeah, you get, get the kid. Well, the getting's good because Ellis Burks is a very good hitter. Never, I mean, he didn't make it to the major leagues until 1987, so he's way ahead of schedule. And Kevin Mitchell, oh, gets the base hit. We almost had a one, two, three inning. Okay. Montgomery coming out for Todd, Tom Gorman, not Todd Gorman. Only 24 and two-third innings. I don't like the fact that he's walked so many batters. I did not realize that he has really struggled with walks as he gets one right here. Nope. Three-run home run to tie it. Struck him up. Can't get the lefties, but you can get the righties. That makes no sense. We go to the bottom of the eighth. We're up three. I'm still going to run. We got pat, uh, stats to pad. Oh, Eisenreich's already having a day. Stay at first. Eisenreich is going to steal his third bag of the day. You get on base, you're going to get an extra bag. Yeah. He's having a career day. And he's six for six. All right, Rusty Tillman, full count. Well, I didn't ask him to do it that time, but he did get it done, finally. We're going to go on contact. Wilson, a good contact hitter. All right, well, that's a sack fly. We'll take it. So I think Wilson is going to be stuck with just five stolen bases today. Carpenter tired. And Larkin will get his last at bat. We'll bring in defensive replacement. He flies out to center. What did Larkin do today before we yank him out of there? One for four, two RBI. He had a sack fly in there. Larkin coming out for Doug Baker. Gorman will face Oberkfell. Why do lefties get hit? A guy was batting 160. Again, reason number 150 that baseball mogul sucks. Here's Todd Fisher. They have to get one run, right? In order to make it a save opportunity. It's the only way baseball mogul works. Fisher knocking him down. So dumb. So stupid. Top of the ninth inning. Jim Corsi coming in. Not Jim Corgi. He's not a cute little pup. He's a pretty good pitcher, though. Lou will lead off. I was going to say, what's his fastball like? I forgot to look. Rated an 81 against Whitaker. Oh, Barry Hill wants another chance at a stolen base. Oh, he's going to get another double. That's his second double of the ball game. 23rd of the season. Okay, TK's got another shot here. Full count. Goes down. He gets another RBI. Base hit. 
Great job. What's his stolen base chance? 71%? Hells to the yes. He's going up five runs in the ninth inning. No! Oh, no! We were going for a perfect 11 for 11. Ah, crap. I mean, we've got nothing left to play for. Okay. Well, it's not a save opportunity. So, we're going to not pitch Dave Smith. And we'll bring in the Gump. Just off the IL. He has not been good at all this year. Can he get three outs before he gives up six runs? Mm, I don't know. Let's find out. Babbitt. Mitchell. There's a fly ball popped up on the infield. Uh, Eric uh, caught. Okay. Two run home run from Mike Davis. Well, that's his third walk of the day. Wormeyer. Ground ball to second. Double play. Tigers win. 10 to 5. A six game winning streak. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. You know what? I'll take a 10 to 5 victory with 10 stolen bases. Let's take a look at the standings. Yep, we are officially eliminated, of course, even though we've won six in a row. They knocked us off and then they let us win a bunch. Boston is now one and a half up on New York. A Boston Chicago playoff will be very interesting as the White Sox have now won the division. Congrats to them. Where were they at one point? Let's take a look at this real quick. Um, history. Team history. So, 88. Uh, strike short. 500. 89. They fell to 75. Back to 86 last year, but fourth place. Back-to-back -back years, and now they've won the division and might actually win 100 games. It's kind of amazing. Good job by them. Take a look at the National League. There's still a race going on in the East. Philadelphia could be eliminated tomorrow. Dodgers with the best record in baseball. Headline news. Brainiac baseball did we? Boston expands this lead with a 5-3 victory over the White Sox, actually. Five stolen bases for Wilson. And a 10-5 win. I mean, there were a lot of stolen bases. I guess he did have half of them. Um, Eisenreich, you got to remember that guy. He had a hell of a game. Take a look at the transactions. It's going to be a tough player of the game today, right? Oh, Danny Jackson. Done for the year. He got 14 starts with the Brewers after we traded him over there. And he went 5-5 five and five with a sub-3 ERA. He did walk more than he struck out. That is still an issue. But if I find this guy next year with a 90, I'm going to be really pissed off. And Ed Whitson broke his fibula. He'll be out till spring training. Okay. Let's pull up that box score and see what that's all about. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Um, we've already gone. No, we're almost done with all the I got this videos. Uh, I think we have two more to go. And then we'll probably go to the Fairfields next. Any more entertainment? Five stolen bases, two for two, two RBI, uh, a double in there. Absolutely the player of the game. Jim Eisenreich's like, well, look, I got three singles. I drove in two runs and had three stolen bases. How is that not good enough? Um, a home run by TK, and he did not get the stolen base. He could have had a shoe and a shot if he had that stolen base. Rusty Tillman couldn't do anything, right? Uh, and Barry Larkin did not get a stolen base, but that's my fault because he had that, that infield single to lead off the ball game, and then I... 
I didn't realize that. I thought he was uh, it was a ground out. Otherwise, he would have stolen second base, too. So we had 12 stolen bases. I miscalculated. 12 of 13 on the base path against Carlton Fisk. What does that do to his uh, percentage? 6%. You got to give him credit for throwing out his fellow. Oh, poor Pudge. All right. Petrie gets the win. Didn't really much deserve it. He's 13 and 5. That'll break that losing streak. The bullpen did their gerb. They did not look good collectively. Dennis Martinez, I'm sorry. You're 12 and 17 now. And each bullpen arm gave up a run. They did have three doubles, including Carlton Fisk. I mean, how could he possibly even get to second base? I do not know. All right, everybody. That was a fun game, despite some uh, irregularities, but we'll take it. And we'll be back tomorrow. If you want to get in on the giveaway, you know what to do. Be a subscriber. Let me know in the comments. We will get you added to the duck race. Until tomorrow, everyone, have a great day.